Hello Internet. So I have some books here that I think anybody starting out like me is going to need. Of course, we've got the Machinery's Handbook, and I got an older one. In fact, uh, these three are older books because I'm getting into manual machining. I don't have any CNC machines, and I don't think I'm going to get into that in the foreseeable future. But um, if you are getting into CNC, then you'll want the updated versions of some of these. So because of that, I got the older one of these. And this is a textbook. So this, these are really, this is not printed anymore, I don't believe. But I wanted to have it anyway. But I don't think it's something, I think it just pretty much has what's in here, but this is the gold standard, the Machinery's, Machinery's Handbook is this right here. And this book is in really, really good condition, and it's actually got the last owner's name in it. I looked him up online, and he has passed away. Uh, there was an obituary and his picture, so I saved it. I'm going to print it out and keep it with this book. Someday I'm going to pass on and then somebody's going to wind up with this and uh, it'll be interesting to have the history of the owners. But I, I, his profession wasn't a machinist. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think he was an accountant or something. So I'm assuming that he got this and uh, put it in his library where it stayed. But it's in really great condition. Just that little corner damage there. There's no grease on it. The pages aren't ripped. There's no wrinkled or bent pages. I mean, it's really good condition, so I'm really glad I got it. And of course, the American Machinist Handbook. And I just wanted to have this just to have it. And then this right here is a book that everybody should have. This kind of, um, I don't know how to really explain it. It's got a lot of good stuff in here. And it, it's all pretty really easy to kind of look at and read. And, you know, they've got a lot of color and, and a lot of uh, good diagrams. You know, this is something you're definitely going to have to know about the sign. This is all part of trigonometry, which I have to learn because I don't know it. But it um, doesn't seem like it's that hard. It's like a pretty, pretty simple thing to learn. But um, that's what the sign is one of the angles in, in trigonometry. And you've got various uh, tooling deals going on there. Some charts, things with the gears. These are really, really important in regards to gears, especially the module of the gear. Um, dealing with, I'm dealing with this right now with my lathe because I got no change gears. And um, I believe the module of gear on my lathe is a 1.5 and I think it can be like I think the gears can be 0 0.5 uh, 1.0 1.5 2.0 2.5 .0, I think kind of goes like that and you could have some variations in between I don't know the whole deal yet different uh, gear profiles just a whole bunch of stuff good charts and of course, it, you're probably going to be doing um, spur gears. Where'd we go? Probably only going to be dealing with spur gears and not any other sort of gears. You know, spiral gears and helical gears and all that, um, unless you've got special equipment. For that, uh, you're just going to be using a specific involute cutter and 
to make gears, different kinds of stock, all kinds of good stuff in here. And one area that I'm in a lot, if I can find it here. Of course, this is pretty important, knowing your workpiece so you know what type of cutter you're going to need. Turning formulas. So I've been in this a lot. This is talking about the inserts. These are the various inserts you can get. You know, the Trigon and the Rhombic or C is pretty popular. TNMG has kind of gone, gone out of style. Uh, I have a couple of those and I decided to go with the CNMG instead. Um, I don't know if I'm going to really mess with any others, but this gives a, a really easy breakdown of what all this means. You know, you got the T and you got one, so you can look up. It could be any one of these letters. The N under number two can be any of these. Looks like your cutting angles. Your M, which is number three, which is your tolerances, and your four, which is your chip breakers. And so if you look at G, you can see the type of chip breaker that you're going to get with the CNMG. And it goes into a whole bunch of other stuff, including the holders, various types of holders that you can get, which I'm pretty sure would depend on what type of cutting you're going to do on a lathe. Your threading inserts, and of course this goes into metric. So th this is something, and you, know, you can see this is really good right here, showing you the various cutting profiles you'll get with each, with each insert. So this is a definite must-have. You can get this off Amazon. I think that's where I got mine, and. Um, Again, if you're, even if you're an experienced machinist, this is good to have. So this book, this is a textbook. And here's the thing about that book is that it's a 1960s era. Most of the ones that I see, I got this on eBay, and most of the ones I see I think are, I'm trying to think, 17th edition or something. They've been around a while, but... Again, the reason I chose the older book was because I'm manual machining and the newer versions of this have a lot of CNC stuff. And unfortunately, the CNC stuff, you have to take something out to put something in. So I opted to get this book because I'm doing manual machining. Now, the guy that recommended this book is a machinist and he started out like me with absolutely no experience at all and this is the book he got well he got one a newer version than I did but he recommended it and he started out manual machining and now he's got a, a big machine shop and all he does is CNC machining and um, I've been buying some stuff off of him for manual machining and he recommended this book, so I found one on eBay, and this is in really good condition. And again, it's a textbook. It's going to teach you things that you're not otherwise going to learn in some of these other books. So I think this is a really must-have. And you can find this on eBay, uh, but you have to be careful, and I almost made this mistake. You have to look at what version you have. There's an English version and there's an Indian version. Uh, Indian as in India. Uh, I guess this is a popular book over there and you don't want to get that version and then it's all in you know their language and, and you can't read it. So I almost bought one of those on accident. And this wasn't cheap. I think I paid sixty dollars for this. So make sure you get the North American English version.
There's just a lot of good stuff in here. And of course, this is again with the with the gears. And here there's use uh, got an indexing head and an indexing head tail stock. And it's very unlikely you're ever going to cut a gear like that. So I would recommend definitely if you're starting out like me and just getting into machining, I would say this is a book to get. And that's the author's now some of the newer versions uh, have different authors, but the KRAR guy, however you pronounce that, KRAR, he's a consistent author. And it's McGraw Hill, Technology of Machine Tools. And of course the covers vary, so uh, you're gonna get one and it's gonna not look like that you got the authors you got the publisher name of the book and you can pretty much take it from there all right well there you go good selection of books that anybody with a machine shop i believe should have